update. Hey, good afternoon. Once again, Chief Meteorologist Travis Meyer, Stacia, Michael, hanging across the area, and we're talking about winter weather continuing as well. It's not bad in Tulsa. It's wet roads. We've had some sleet, and there's still a chance we could end up with some additional sleet or a heavy downpour of sleet, even a snowburst around Tulsa. And if that would happen, we'd end up with slick roads just like that. And so just in a snap of fingers. So we're talking about we're still looking at areas to the north and west with the highest potential of snow and sleet. Now let's go up to Vaughn, who's in Pahuska right now, and it looks like it's a little bit lighter just south of him. He just had a band. It looks like it went through. Vaughn, can you give us an update? What are the roads like? What's going on in Pusk area? Yeah, the roads are still good because we're still above freezing. Uh, but we did have a moderate band of snow come through. And now, uh, and apparently, it switched over to uh, light rain. So we're just kind of in that, that zone to where it could be sleet, could be snow, could be freezing rain. So uh, we're going to stay with it, Travis. Back to you. All right, thanks, Vaughn. Appreciate it. And also, a little bit further west, if you were with us a little bit ago, I wasn't able to talk to Vaughn or Darren. Uh, Darren's still at Ralston. This is where some of the heavier bands have been located. Let's talk to Darren and find out a little bit more about roadways. Darren, what's going on? Yeah, Travis, you can see uh, on the left-hand side of the shot there uh, where cars have been traveling, it's still a little slushy, but on the side roads and stuff uh, where I'm setting, the uh, roads are still very slick. Um, here in Ralston, it's 31 degrees. Very light snow. It, it was moderate just a few moments ago. Switched over to light with a little bit of sleet mixed in. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. So, again, big radar picture showing overall that most of the winter weather is to our north and to our west. Further to the south and to the east, we continue to have rain and showers showing up across Okmulgee and Muskogee counties. So far, so good in these areas. Also, some heavy downpours of rain. JD's intercepting some of this. Could be some lightning and thunder as well with some of that. We're going to go to Facebook Live here in just a few minutes, but that's the latest report. We'll be back here with some more information. Keep it here. We'll keep you advised. All right, welcome to Facebook Live. That was fast. I thought there was a little period there, but there was no period. It was just like now. Everybody's on ball. Anyway, we're uh, going to talk to you for a while about some of the roadways and conditions that are going on across eastern Oklahoma. If you have to travel, so far it looks pretty good. We're going to talk to our storm trackers about what's going on in different locations around the area. Also, Stacia, you'll be joining me, right? You've got a mic on? Okay. And uh, Stacia will be joining us. And Michael's running right now our storm tracking team. So we're going to give everybody a quick update in case you do have to do some travel. Of course, schools, a lot of schools are out from two. 30 to 4 o'clock uh, getting out. So in the Tulsa area right now, we're doing fine. Uh, we do have periods of sleet that have caused just a little bit of concern. And we'll talk to Stacia about some traffic issues that might be occurring and if we have Operation Slick Street still are in effect yet or not. But around the metro at this hour, most of the green again indicates where we have rain. And the rain is just light to moderate. Occasionally we'll have a little bit heavier downpour of rain, but this gives us pretty good indication of what's going on here. Tim's on the north side of town. Has Tim got his phone uh, working yet? He's good? Okay. Hey, Tim, if you're with me right now, I know you're coming down 75. Can you give us an update on the road conditions and how it's going, basically? Yeah, Travis, right now everything's really good on the road. Temperatures around 34 and uh, just moderate rain, like you said, light, light to moderate rain. But uh, the roads are really good right now, just kind of... To slow down on the bridges just in case. Right now, things look pretty good. Back to you. All right, I appreciate that. So as you can tell, he's moving southbound into the metro area, back to the north and west. We were just on Channel 6, uh, but if you uh, weren't uh, able to watch us on 6, uh, we do have some winter weather going on. Darren's in probably the best place for actually seeing some white stuff on the ground. I don't think it's quite enough to make a snowman, but it is enough to be a little bit concerning as far as travel is concerned. So let's go over to Darren and talk to him for a little bit about what's going on as it looks a little bit more like winter on the streets and on the roads. Darren, what do you have? Yeah, Travis, we've had a winter mix here off and on for about two hours. It started out as sleet, some pretty heavy sleet. And then so that's the base of what's under this snow, which switched over after about 45 minutes. And just a few moments ago, the snow just all but stopped. It's a very light sleet falling right now. But as you can see on the sides of the roads, uh, there's a, a, that, that snow over the top of that sleet that we've mentioned. Uh, and it's the, the side roads and stuff are very slick. Now, on the main road, Highway 18 here, where everybody's been traveling, school buses and stuff are out, uh, there's a slushy mix. And so if you just slow down, you're just fine. Now, the Arkansas River Bridge that goes north out of Ralston has been treated several times since I've been here by ODOT. And so I, I went out there on it and, and really tried to spin my wheels, and I couldn't. So it's usually just the opposite. Bridges and overpasses get slick first and then the roads. Whereas now, the bridges is okay here, and the roads are slick. We'll keep watching it. Back to you. All right. Hey, I'm also looking at, 
Is that smoke in the left-hand side of the screen there? Is that yeah, just? I'm sorry. I was going to mention that uh, the city crews are doing some uh, clearing of some lots, and there's a there's a build an old building down there, and uh, they've just pushed it up. And today's a good day to burn, you know. So oh. I was in there talking to the crew earlier. They were standing around. Uh, getting warm <laughs> all right thanks darren i appreciate it so as you can tell roadways are a little bit uh, messed up up around darren and that is again out to the west of tulsa so we're looking at you know, western osage county western pawnee county back up into central osage county uh, vaughn has been traveling some of the roads around the pahuska area he'll probably be heading over to barlesville before too long uh, but let's find out a little bit more before he moves on and good shot of downtown right now vaughn what do you have for us well, uh, yes, I may be going back towards Bartlesville a little bit later, maybe maybe after I get me a uh, big old chicken fry right here at the Mercantile. But um, uh, right here, right now, Travis, it was snowing pretty moderately here, but uh, now it's kind of changed over to a basically a, a light rain. Um, so those upper-level temperatures must be uh, going up just above me. But um, right now, roads are fine. Bridges are fine. Uh, just a little accumulation you can kind of see on the uh, grassy services here in Pawhuska. But as of the road, they're fine and um, should be hopefully uh, should be fine the rest of the evening if, as long as we don't get a whole bunch of this stuff. Travis, back to you. Okay, thanks. I uh, appreciate it, Vaughn. Let's go to Weather 11, you guys, if you could. Uh, we'd like to do that for a moment. Uh, this is a live look out of Bartlesville right now, and you see it is uh, basically snowing uh, there. Michael Grogan said, hey, take a look at this. So it's uh, snowing in Bartlesville at this moment, and so roads, you can tell, are still looking good as far as travel, so no issues uh, traveling at this moment, uh, but that's not to say that that won't change in just a little bit, so if you are going to be around, just make sure around Bartlesville, uh, just make sure that you're aware that obviously with precipitation, some snow, that uh, there's a chance some bridges overpasses could become slick. We're going to look at some of the temperatures in a little bit, uh, but this gives you an idea of what's going on up in Bartlesville. A few flakes of snow. I'm a big flake of snow in the picture. Now I'm walking out. Now there's only small flakes, uh, and as that continues, uh, we're going to probably see some of the roads deteriorate a little bit as we look into the uh, next hour or two for you guys up in Bartlesville. Also back to radar for a moment. As you can see, we're Bartlesville right in here and then Vaughn, uh, Darren. And so this has been the band of the heaviest uh, snow sleet concentration that goes up into K County and then back out along I-35. We haven't had any road closures. And as I said, we'll talk station a few moments about some of the road conditions around the metro area. Back to the south and you can see again the bluish areas indicate where there's a higher probability of snow. And then the magenta colors are more of a winter mix. So that could be rain, sleet or snow. And so that's kind of the boundary is just on the West Tulsa side. And you go further to the south, you can see from Chandler extending to around the Bristol area. Could be a little bit of issue around the turnpike. Again, the turnpike should be in great shape because they've been working on that uh, before this system moved in. JD's down around the Henrietta area right now. He's getting ready to intercept some of the heavier bands that are off to the east of him and then down around Scipio. Let's go to JD for a quick update. JD, what do you have? I'm holding at 35 degrees on I-40 down here. Uh, I'm getting some moderate rain, but when I was getting on I-40 at uh, Okima, I did see a, they were cleaning up a wreck, and uh, so the roads aren't slick, but they're very wet, so that's probably due to the wet roads. As I'm eastbound, I'm going to intercept that heavier band. Just uh, a lot of good cold rain right here on I-40, Travis. Okay, now I appreciate it. So again, roadways just not all that bad. And so if you do have to travel, allowing yourself extra time is probably going to be a key uh, for that. Back to radar for a moment. Uh, overall, again, if you're to the south and east, more of a moderate rain. We can have some embedded sleet in some of this, and then that goes into northwest Arkansas as well. So we do have travel advisories in effect for the area. Let's go look at our road condition report first, though, on uh, Lynx uh, 1 right now. And to give you an idea, most of the areas are just wet. So if you do have travel plans, that green area, green indicates wet roads. So that just means allow extra time. And then we're starting to see the slick spots, obviously, that Darren and Vaughn have had to go through. So there'll be a few areas, especially sheltered areas or overpasses that have the potential uh, to be in that. And then also we're now starting to get a lot of reports of slick and hazardous conditions uh, showing up more from Pawnee and Payne and along I-35, as we mentioned just a little bit ago. And Michael, I don't have my clicker with me. Could you advance that to um, the temperature map? 
if you would, for one moment, and then we'll go over to talk to station in just a minute. But uh, this is a uh, travel conditions. We're expecting uh, road conditions through tonight. Our temperature is going to hover near or just above freezing. So if you're in southeast Oklahoma, it's not that big a deal. Uh, and our freezing temperatures, again, we were expecting it to really drop once the precipitation happened, and we really haven't had too much of a drop. We've only had about two to three degree temperature drop around the area. And so you can see the colder readings are to the south. Now, if you're south, you're getting rain, but you're also saturated. So we don't think the temperature is going to drop much more here. And then out to the west where we had the sleet, that's further to the west. And so that's where we have the freezing weather. But the metro at this time, still in the mid-30s, so we're pretty lucky. That doesn't mean that we couldn't drop three more degrees and be freezing in Owasso or two more degrees in Skytook. So still going to be a close call for the next couple of hours. Speaking of which, station is watching the traffic, road conditions across the area. Station, what do you have? That's right, Travis. I do want to mention a couple things as we get into our afternoon rush hour, picking kids up from school. Everybody's heading home from work and school. Roadways are wet right now. We've had reports of sleet in the metro. As we go from now until about 6, 7 o'clock, we're still in a window where we could see more sleet and possibly even a little snow in Tulsa. Remember, it doesn't take much to make our roadways slick, and bridges and overpasses are going to be our biggest problem. Travis just showed you the uh, temperatures right now in Tulsa, which are just above freezing, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, they could drop a few more degrees. Let's take a look at links Four. show you exactly what's happening in Tulsa right now. So this is a look at the metro and most likely everybody's dealing with rain. There's actually some heavier rain down along the Creek Turnpike in Jinx and Glenpool. So want to stress that the roadways are wet, but there's one crash that is now being reported and that's going to be over at 169 and 11th Street. Now we're on Operation Slick Streets in Tulsa. So what that means is as you get out and about, if you have a collision, I hope you don't, but if you do and it's a non injury collision, then go ahead and and fill out your own collision report. You can grab one at Quick Trip. You can even fill one out online with TPD. But TPD is only going to be responding to injury collisions at this time. Again, because roadways are wet, our chances of having collisions is going up, and so they're only going to be responding to those injury crashes. Right now, we do have a possible injury crash here. This is 169 at 11th Street. It's the first one to show up. So on Unfortunately, that's going to cause a backup. We do think that it's in the southbound lanes of 169 there, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on the collisions as we get into, again, rush hour and more of you are getting out on the roadway. The precipitation is starting to pick up in the metro, and I would not be surprised, Travis, if we do have some sleet pellets mixed in with some of this more moderate rainfall pretty much on the south side of town near ORU and Woodland Hills Mall and back towards Tulsa Hills. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, most of the precipitation that we're talking about will be confined to hopefully more of a rain event for Tulsa South. We thought it would be rain uh, for you guys to the southeast in Tulsa. We're just kind of on the zone, and if we're getting some sleet, that would be the only thing that is a cautionary measure that and just allow yourself extra time anyway with the roads wet, and then you'll be a lot happier. Of course, there's always somebody they'll speed by you going about 30 miles an hour faster than they should, and you go, really? But that's just me. Maybe me. Maybe it's just me thinking that way. Anyway, we do want you to just be careful. Back to links, uh, if we could, for... Uh, and uh, the metro area continues to have that bands of rain, as you can see, and then the snow is out to the west. And just a uh, last update, I see, um, um, let's see, most of our guys, I'm looking around. Uh, Vaughn looks like he's in good shape. Darren, let's go over to Darren for just one minute before we leave here. I see uh, Darren has a bit of a fire going on. That was from that house, I guess. Darren, just because you have the video, I want to show it. So they were uh, getting rid of some old buildings in uh, Ralston? Yeah, it looks like they're doing some cleanup, and uh, we had talked about that a little bit earlier, and so I was hoping you'd see that and we'd come back to it. And so it's just a it's a contained fire here uh, in uh, downtown Ralston, and you can see the truck. You can if you look at the bottom of the video there, you can you can see where the, the slush on the roads that I was talking about, and it's pretty easy going. The school buses uh, went by a while ago with no problems, and there's been several small cars that go. But the side streets that haven't been traveled very much again. Are, are, are very slick, uh, but the bridges have been treated very well by ODOT, Travis. All right. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate you moving in and getting that shot for us. And uh, latest going on there. Also, uh, one more time, I want to go back and, and come back in the metro uh, for a minute and just uh, where Tim is located. Let's go talk to him because Station and I are just talking about maybe some of these bands are a little bit heavier and could actually have some sleet in. Tim, um, looks like you're on the north side by International Airport. Uh, can you give us an idea on how we, what's uh, going on as far as have, do you have any rain mixed with sleet or just rain? You know, just as you mentioned that, Travis, we are, I'm getting just occasional sleet hits on the windshield, but uh, for the most part, just uh, rain right now. Roads are still really good. Uh, I talked to some MoDOT folks back there. They're kind of in standby mode now, waiting for the temperatures to drop, but they're ready to go if needed. 
and I'm heading over to Highway 11 or uh, Highway 169 and 11 to see what I can find out about that, the accident there. I'll be back with you. All right. Thanks, Tim. Greatly appreciate it. So again, from our guys uh, and from our staff, uh, we just want to make sure you have a good afternoon and hopefully that gives you some updates of what's going on. We'll be back. We can possibly be back on Facebook Live here within the next 30 minutes or hour to let you know what's going on. Also, we're going to be back on Channel 6 as well. So in the meantime, try to stay dry and we'll just we're looking for snow. Can't find very much. We had to go all the way out west of Tulsa, and we still have a chance of a little bit of sleet or snow mixed here for the next couple of hours, so we'll see what happens. More information coming up a little bit. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you a little bit later.